In the first episode of Street Outlaws Australia by Power Cruise, we introduce you to the top five drivers on the list and follow their first night of call-outs and racing. Street Outlaws Australia is all about the baddest no prep cars racing their way up the list to make it to number one. 50 racers calling each other out, racing off the light, under lights on a no prep surface. No timers, no drag tree, the starter hits the light and whoever crosses the finish line first wins. As for the cars, there's only a few rules for these pro streeters. Swinging doors, rear wheel drive and no door slammers. Big tyre or small tyre doesn't matter as getting the power down on the no prep surface is what makes for some good racing. The starting spots on the list were based upon the original Power Cruise night racing list plus some newcomers who've joined the series. Every event the list will be shaken up but now let's meet the five drivers holding the top spots coming into the night and see who finished the night number one. My name's Damien Baker. I've got an XD 1984 Ford Falcon. Okay, this car was built and tuned by myself from VG Engines. Small block Ford, it runs on nitrous, it's 434 cubes. It's made 1,030 horsepower, never raced at the track. Currently I'm number five on the list. I've got plenty to do to keep holding this number, but the plan is to probably run our Vela because he owns the car, so I might as well try and dust him in it anyway. Hi, my name's Tommy Kassoff and this is my LC Tirana. It's a, it's a, oh, start again. <laughs> it's a methanol injected small block Chev. Not really sure how much power it makes, but we'll see what she goes like. It's got a two speed power glide in it and it runs about 870s at the track. I'm currently number four on the list and I just want to have some fun and hopefully keep me number. The night didn't start well for Tommy with a breakdown before the start line which handed over a bye run to Damien so he could move straight into the number four spot. Yeah, I kicked his ass because he's still down there at the start line, mate, so nah, Tommy broke. He took forever, took his spot. That's how it is, man. Hi, I'm Nathan Gosson. That's my 1970 Ford Capri Psycho 70. Running a 370 cube Windsor, up, makes 720 horsepower, naturally aspirated, built by VG Engines. Yeah, we run it through a C4 transmission. The uh, best time the car's done is a 960 at 141. Currently we're sitting at number three on the list. Golden Idis to probably stay at number three, if not number two. Hi, my name's Al Vella. This is our 1971 Ford Capri. Hi, it's a small block Ford Windsor. 450 cubes with a little bit of nitrous on it. Damo from BG Engines built the engine. Makes about 900 with some bottle. It runs a C4 Auto built by Shiftright Transmissions. Uh, it's been 840s at 160 mile an hour. Currently we're number two on the list, but I want number one no matter what. Oh, well, you want me to say it again? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Currently we're number two on the list, but we really want number one and we're gonna not stop till we get it. I said, I give it everything, but we I give did. it a little bit too much. <laughs> I think we did. And we're going to go call out number one, Jason Mansueto, and I'm going to take that spot off him no matter what. Hi, 
I'm Jason Mansueto and this is my 1969 Ford Capri. It's a 632Q big block, makes 1200 horsepower NA and it's got a small shot of gas just, just in case I need it. It runs a two-speed power glide, Reed, built by Freda Protrans. The car's PB, I've only taken it out once to be honest, it's run a 780 NA without the gas. Currently I'm number one on the list and my goal is just to maintain that position and have some fun. Thank you. I'll race anyone. I'll race anyone. I think Jay's jumped myself. We can go to the camera and have a look. I, I, I believe he jumped. I don't know. Jace is saying no. I think we should go to the camera. What do you think, Andrew? I think you should head down the start line and speak to the camera guys and get them to look at that. Yep. So that if he jumped, that means you're number one, I'm right? I'm taking it, yep. You're taking it. I'm taking it. Taking it off me. I'm taking it off there. Yeah, man, I got him. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's my own engine. I built both of them, so yeah, it's not bad. Not just car, beat an NA car. I'm gonna go and give me a sweater. I go. I don't know. I'm pretty underpowered, but yeah, man, oh, I'll try.
we're going to go out. And if I win, I'm going to call him back out again, wear his stuff out. So over has popped uh, the number one for the night. He was number one at the start, yeah? Yes. Yeah, Jason was dumped, Jason and Mansueto. You know what the good thing is? You'll still be there the next month and you'll be number you'll be number two next month. He's already called them. You can race each other out again. First race the next one I reckon. Yeah. First race. Yeah. First colour. Nah, there's some cars go down first. Yeah. Nah, I don't think you guys Yeah. I call him off the trailer. Off the trailer? Well I think next month will be the last, pretty much the last time you'll probably have to race each other because I'm going to come up in the all there and pop you down a couple of spots and have a good We're not worried about big block wagons, airlocks, they go, they go get groceries. Good, good luck they with that. They get groceries. Good luck. Oh, good we, see what it, we see what it's here today so we know what to do now. <laughs> At the end of the night, this is how the top ten leaderboard looked. Jason Mansueto kept the number one spot and Alan Vela holding on to the number two spot. But every other position changed and two new people joined the top ten, with Shardy getting into ninth and Gup racing up to seventh. Paul Heimrich and Pat DeFrancesco dropped out of the top ten due to broken cars. Stay tuned for the next episode where we catch up with more of the races and more of the action. For event information and to buy tickets to the next event, head to the Power Cruise website, powercruise.com. Make sure you follow the Power Cruise Street Outlaws Australia Facebook page. See you there.